and Kim Kardashian's tension boils to the surface, an infamous Kardashian ex returns, and will we finally find out what's going on with Chloe and Tristan Thompson? I sure hope so, and I'm breaking down everything we can expect on the new season of The Kardashians right now. How's it going guys? It's your girl Madison Hill here and we're going to get into all of the tea that we can expect from this new season of The Kardashians, kicking off with Miss Kimberly Kardashian because it looks like she might have the most drama this season. First of all, it appears as though Kim Kardashian will open up about her split from Pete Davidson. In the season 3 trailer, we see Kim confirm that she is no longer in a relationship and it definitely appears to be taking a toll on her. Not okay. I'm so having such a hard day today. In addition to that, it also appears as though Kim will finally open up about her very public divorce from Kanye West. While Kim officially filed for divorce back in 2021, the two didn't finalize their divorce until one year later. Obviously, their divorce has been filled with tons of drama, but not quite as much as what appears to go down between Kim and her big sis Courtney this upcoming season. But I'll get to why those two are going at it in just a second. Anyway, we see Kim address all of the quote lies that Kanye has put out publicly in order to paint a negative narrative. However, even even in the trailer, Kim becomes emotional when she states her and her family have remained silent on those lies for her children. Now before I get into what Chloe is bringing to the table and which Kardashian ex is making his return, like I mentioned, we can also expect to see Kim and Kourtney at odds this season. In the trailer, we see Kourtney accuse Kim of using her nuptials to Travis Barker as a business opportunity. My sister used my wedding as a business opportunity. She's mad at me. Live it. And Kim, of course, clearly plans to defend herself against those claims. Little sisters Kendall and Kylie see both sides. Meanwhile, Courtney does not appear to back down at all. People think that's a misunderstanding. It's not. It's who she is to her core. As I mentioned, Kim and Courtney aren't the only ones who seem to be bringing life into this new season of The Kardashians. Scott Disick, aka Courtney's ex and fan fave, is also expected to make a return this season. He's been a little MIA since Travis Barker entered Courtney's life, but he's back and people couldn't be more thrilled. However, someone people aren't so thrilled to see grace their screens during this new season is Chloe's on and off again ex Tristan Thompson. Shout out to Mama Chris for asking the question, we're all dying to know. How's everything going with Tristan? And while Chloe is seen telling Scott that Tristan has, quote, no chances, you know lately that's not the actual vibe that Chloe has been giving, so we'll see. Now, for those of you who are wondering what little sisters Kendall and Kylie are bringing to the table, I'm not gonna lie. It appears to be a little light compared to their older sisters, but we do see Kylie address the beauty standards they're setting for the public now that she has a daughter of her own. All of us just need to have a bigger conversation about the beauty standards that we're setting. We love a self-aware queen. It's also worth mentioning that ahead of the premiere, of the third season, Hulu did extend their contract with the Kardashians from 40 episodes to 60, which means the show is now expected to run for at least six seasons. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you on this episode of What's Trending Celeb Scoop. Make sure to follow and subscribe to us everywhere at What's Trending. Once again, I'm your girl Madison Hill, and I'll see you guys next time.